guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. Let me just adjust that a little. I'm Marina, and I have a huge Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. Um, I have so much stuff that I feel like I'm never going to get through it. I just, I'm like dreading going to the car lately <laughs> because I feel like such an epic failure. I just cannot keep up with it. Um, there's so much stuff that I'm buying because the Dollar Tree is just exploding with amazing items and I just can't seem to get to the Dollar Tree, record all the awesome things that I'm finding in time to also do haul videos. So I'm just going to go right into it and share with you guys as much as I can cram into almost an hour because I don't want to keep you guys here all day, but I would like to get through these items. So let me just talk less and haul more. First thing that I want to show you guys are these frosted window films. They're back at the Dollar Tree and originally when they had them in my area, they only had this like floral looking print or I only saw this one and I didn't like it, but I like that that more graphic print. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's kind of geometric, but I do have like a closet in my house that has that we built that has um clear glass and I would like to put this on the glass so that it shows less. Oh, duh, Marina. No one's going to be able to see that. I don't think even if I put it up close, you can't see it. But maybe when I do it, I'll share with you guys how it comes out. I think it, I think it will work really easily. It seems like good stuff. It's thick. It looks like it'll work. And the size of it is 11.8 times 47.2 inches. So it seems like you get a lot of it. I got four because I really probably will never see it again, but um, I think it's a good item to pick up. This is really expensive online. When I went online to look for it on eBay, for anybody that was selling it locally, because I didn't want to wait like forever for it to come from China, it was like 20 something dollars a roll. I don't even know if that's normal or if I wasn't looking for the right item, but I was like, wow, at a dollar, I'm so happy I finally found this. I did show you guys a bunch of seasoning the other day, and I do have something that's not from Dollar Tree here in the car to share with you guys, just in case it might be helpful to some people. Um, you know, there are a lot of things that are going crazy in the world lately. Uh, my heart goes out to the Canary Islands. I don't know if you guys have been following it. The volcano, La Palma, that's been exploding since actually I think my birthday, September 20th. And it's like really scary. And all these shipments haven't been coming into the country. And just all kinds of crazy stuff is going on in the world. Prices are going up. I'm not going to get myself stressed out over it. But when I see things like this at the Dollar Tree, I definitely want to pick them up. Because these are the kind of things that when... Things stop getting shocked, like stocked on the shelves. You just can't find them in the store. They're gone. People just grab all of them and there's nothing to be found. And they don't take up a lot of space. And honestly, life without seasoning is just not great. So I'd rather have extra seasoning in my home and just stock up on it. I did find this seafood seasoning by Red Lobster and I actually really like this product. Now this product actually does contain... Um, see, I do like to read what's inside of my seasoning because I'm a little quirky that way and I do have a lot of allergies. This product has salt as the first ingredient, which is okay, so it's salty. Spices, paprika, dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic, and not more than 2% canola oil and silicone dioxide added as a processing agent. Now, that's not bad. That's a relatively clean seasoning because some seasonings have crazy stuff in them. And I will say that, although I love the flavor of this, and I did pick it up to use every once in a while, it will never be my go-to seasoning, even though, honestly, it's really exciting. Olive Garden Garlic and Herb Italian Seasoning tastes so good. But here's what's in here, which is what really bothers me. Salt, garlic, spices, onion, sherry wine powder, maltodextrin, botanical extracts, vinegar powder, food starch, modified natural flavorings, dehydrated red bell pepper, dioxide to prevent caking. And silicone dioxide 
is like what the other ingredient used also, but the whole maltodextrin, from what I understand, that is like similar to MSG. So I do try to like avoid seasonings that have that. Um, let me know if you guys know, cause I really like that seasoning and it doesn't say no MSG on it. Like this one says no MSG. I love that. It says no MSG. That means no MSG. And, um, yeah. And this one, the ingredients are very clean. Spices, salt, dehydrated onion, garlic, sugar, citric acid, and canola oil and canola oil. That's it. Although it's super spicy. Um, I just use very little, but it's clean. Like I like clean seasonings. I prefer to buy organic if possible, but if I can get them for a buck and they're okay, I will always pick them up. But I have to say that something that I think is an incredible deal, if you have a Lidl's near, near you. Now, I know like Lidl's, that's like a new supermarket chain. This is 2.5 ounces for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Now, this seasoning is incredible. It makes everything taste good. I love it. It smells amazing. It's just so delicious. And the ingredients are, the first ingredient in it is garlic then salt, then onion, spices including back, black pepper, parsley, cayenne pepper, orange peel, paprika, green bell peppers. Nothing crazy in here. No non-caking ingredients, none of that stuff. So this is a pretty clean seasoning and you get 18 ounces for three bucks at Lidl's. Now, I feel like the commercials for Lidl's are like, oh, the price is so low. They're suspiciously low. I have to be honest. I'm very selective when I go there. I don't think they're that cheap or inexpensive or budget friendly. Any word you want to use for it. But I will say that the things that are really well priced are extremely well priced. Like bread is crazy cheap there. And I don't know. I don't want to go into a whole, um, I love Aldi's. I like to call Aldi's the, um, Dollar Tree of supermarkets because I love the Dollar Tree and I love Aldi's. But as of lately, I'm kind of loving on a little bit of Lidl and uh, like for things like that, like that seasoning, $2.99, it's phenomenal. You can't get seasoning like that that's very clean. It doesn't have MSG. It doesn't have non-caking ingredients in it because things like that are just chemicals that I don't find necessary to put in my food, if at all possible. I would prefer to just have dehydrated stuff in ground down into my seasonings, which makes me super happy. And I just had to share that even though it's completely off the, on a tangent, but you guys know that I can't help myself. If something is fabulous. I have to get, let you guys know about it. So if you do have a Lidl and you like like poultry seasoning or something like that, I mean, it does have a lot of orange and peppers and lemony scent to it, but you could put it on pork. You could put it on a lot of things. I even put it on vegetables. I just like it because it's clean and makes everything taste good. I picked up several of these kids Christmas, um, two CD sets. And what this is actually is it's like karaoke for kids, kids, Christmas holiday sing-along Fisher price. But how cute is that? It has two discs and it has rocking around the Christmas tree. I love that song. I just think that kids are gonna, I mean, it has like every song you could think of. I'll flip it over if you guys wanna take a look. If you are looking for this, I really hope that you find it for the grandkids or the kids. I actually have two copies of it here, but I have found, mo I've been buying it every time I see it um, because I think it's just a great thing to give at the shelters. Uh, it has Jingle Bell Rock, I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas, It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas, Frosty the Gnome, Snowman, Carol of the Bells. It has all the Christmas hits and then some, but I mean, it has the serious ones too, like Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Silent Night. It's got it all. So these are good even to just play on Christmas Day in your home. I just feel like you're getting two discs they're uh, 52 and 59 minutes each. You could put it on in the background of your house and have the kids over and open your gifts. And it's just a really fun thing to buy for just a buck, you guys. So I did pick up two of each of these really gorgeous. I think these might be my favorite, favorite. And I know I've said that before, but then 
something takes a hold of my heart and replaces it. These are my new favorites. Remember they made the home sign around Valentine's Day that had um, a galvanized metal corrugated little heart that people were prying off and then changing it out? I loved those, but they were made of flimsy MDF. These are made of really, really nice, I can't even bend it. These are fantabulous. I am loving them. So I bought a set to gift and then I, and just in case I ruin my set, I have a backup set. So that's like a wink, wink to gift more than likely, but possibly if I screw up mine and I can't find more, then I can revert to the gift set. But what I want to do is I want to take off this wreath or I just want to put a magnet here and then replace this monthly. Like I want to have a pumpkin for fall. I want to have, um, a snowflake for winter, but I, I'm going to need a, maybe a Christmas tree or what will I put there? It would be cute to put a gnome, but I don't know. I guess, I guess for Christmas time, I'll put a Christmas tree or a snowflake something red or maybe, but you know, I'll find things that I can put a magnet here and then just revert to them and swap it out. And I want to do it with the love as well. And I want to put them both by my mantle. Um, so that they're like hanging there or maybe not. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I'm definitely going to swap them both out. I just think they're so cool. Maybe this one I'm going to do just for Valentine's maybe. What are you guys doing with these? I love them. It was really hard to choose between love and home. I had a very hard time choosing, so I didn't. I, of course, have to do both of them. But I did do that whole swapping thing out with um, the other sign, and I really, really like it. But I'm liking this sign better, so I'm going to do that with this now. I absolutely love it. I love how when you swap it out, like in the summer months for the 4th of July, you can put something red, white, and blue in there. You can buy those little crafter square DIY projects and paint them really well and put a magnet behind them and put that there. There's a ton of things that you can choose to put there, but I like to sort of find something that's already made. Like I just cut one of the foam pumpkins in half and I put that on the big home sign uh, with a magnet. Uh, actually, I'm lying. I put it on with double-sided tape and I peel it off. I didn't even put a magnet on that, but it works for me. Um, but this time I'm going to do it right with magnets. So, cause I really, really love these and I don't want to ruin them at all. I think they're super, super cool looking and they have stuff like that where you swap it out at, um, what is that catalog that I'm kind of obsessed with? Uh, LTD commodities and it's like 25 or $27, but you can totally do it for less than that with things that you're already going to buy at the Dollar Tree. And you guys know you probably already half of them. You probably already have half of them in your house that you could swap it out and make it seasonal. And I just love the idea of that. Absolutely love it. You could even put like maybe the cappuccino cup in here and put it in your coffee bar. Oh yeah. You could do that with the love one. Remember those DIY cappuccino cups? You could put that in here. Love of coffee. So many things you could do with these. They're so, so cute. And then I did share in my walkthrough that the scrumptious pastries are back just in time for my waist to go completely, not that it already hasn't, but what waste? Let's put it that way. But I couldn't help but buy some of these. These are so good. And they're pantry shelf stable. They did have the strawberry ones last year. And everyone in my family enjoys these. These are good until uh, June 22nd of 2022. So that's a phenomenal thing to have tucked away for when you want something sweet. Maybe there's a snowstorm. You want to have a cup of tea. You don't want to go out. You don't want to bake. You bust out the the pantry pastry and you're set to, to you know, just cozy in with some snuggadoo socks and watch some television. That's like my favorite days in New York when it's cold. Cause when it's cold out, I'm not leaving the house. I hate snow in the worst. When it's freezing outside, I literally cry when I have to go outside. That's how you know it's time to move out of your state. I hate the cold. I hate it, you guys, but I persevere on cause I'm still in New York. So, um, 
thank God it hasn't been super. It was actually cold the other day and I was like doing my walkthrough and I'm like, I'm freezing. Meanwhile, I see other people like wearing boots and stuff, but I'm still wearing flip flops because my heart is in like hot weather year round mentality and I hate bundling up too. That's the other, that's the part that I just don't like to be bundled up. I like to live like in warm weather climates. Um, the new one is apple cinnamon filling and we've already tried these. These are phenomenal. My husband actually said that these are even better than the strawberry ones and he doesn't even like apple stuff, but he was like, wow, I have to admit the apple cinnamon ones are even better. I didn't even think he liked those because I assumed that he was going to eat the peanut butter ones that may or may not be in this haul. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore what I have in what bag, but I did pick them up. Um, the next item that I picked up, oh, and they also have ones that are like nut brownie hazelnut filled. Oh my God. Those are crazy good. I actually tasted one because there is soy in those and I can't have them, but they're incredibly good. I'm allergic to them, but I did take a little nibble and then the boys ate the box. They're really amazing. Um, so I did buy this bath soak. This specific Spa Naturals bath soak is kind of amazing. I really, really like how it feels. It smells really good. And um, it says calming and relaxing soak nourishes skin and leaves it feeling smooth, soft, and supple. Wonderful, refreshing scent. It does have a wonderful, refreshing scent. Like you could literally put these in those little um, crinoline baggies and stick it in your drawers. It smells that good. But I like to pick up a couple of these. And when we refill the hot tub, Every few uses, we just empty it out and refill it. Or like every like 10, I mean, there's chemicals. You don't have to do it like that, but we like to do that because I like to use less chemicals and just clean out the water more often. But it does have like a ion filter and you know, the whole spiel that goes along with a hot tub. And the weather is, see how it's kind of nice out still? This is the perfect hot tub weather with a hot drink. And when you just change the water out fresh and you let it run a few hours and it gets nice and hot, you throw a couple bags of this in, it does not harm the hot tub at all. It has the same ingredients in it that the hot tub store stuff has that's like scented and, you know, to make it a little salty in the water. And that stuff is like 8 to $15 a bag. This is a buck. It's so relaxing and it feels so good. So anybody out there, you can ask the people at your hot tub store or just look at the ingredients. But if you check your water with the pH strips and you um, change it out often, you could totally take a soak in a couple of bags of this Epsom salt in your hot tub. And it is the best soak Ever. Trust me, it's so good. It really, like it, I mean, my husband just had back surgery and it's something that really just soothes. That's why we got it because he had a really bad back and now we're really lucky to have it. I love our hot tub. Um, it makes living in New York in the cold winter bearable. I do pick these up all the time. I like to store all kinds of stuff in here. You could store makeup in here. Um, yeah, I store lots of stuff in these. You get three packs for a dollar. They're actually for paper. They're supposed to be like um, file folders, but they're just great because they're clear and you can see what's in them. And I just think that they're a great item. And anytime I see them, I scoop them up. I love that they're clear. You could put anything in here. Um, I have one in my kitchen and I have it filled with different um, sauce mixes, like those little, you know, those envelopes of different sauce mixes like ranch dip or onion soup mix dip. I just have a whole envelope of these full of all those different kinds of dips and sauces and I have it in one of my kitchen drawers. So yeah, these are useful in a lot of ways, not just for paper. How cute are these Spider-Man little slippers? Are they not so cute? They're actually not that little. They're supposed to fit size five to nine but they have a lot of fur inside of them and it would be hard to stick a foot that's a size nine in here without it being a little squished. Um, but I think that they're actually kind of cute for young boys. I mean, girls of course can love Spider-Man as well. I picked up three or four of these and if I find more, I'll add more, but I feel like young boys will pick these up possibly more than girls. 
or maybe moms with smaller feet. I don't know who's gonna pick them up, but I think that they're really well made. Not all of the Dollar Tree st slippers are made super well. These do have the non-slip stuff on the bottom and they have like a really nice kind of faux velvet finish, but it is with the comic book print. It's just a great, great looking slipper for a dollar. They don't all look this good. Take my word for it. I actually did run out of Gossner milk. I had quite a bit. I had ordered a case of Gossner milk a while ago directly from DollarTree.com. I don't know if you guys know, but you can actually order it to have delivered to your home 12 for a dollar a piece delivered to your home. Um, and I believe I paid $8 in shipping, which is honestly like $1.60 but I'm happy with that because at the time that I ordered a case, there was like no milk in the area where I lived. And then we did get milk, but it was, um, I was very happy to be able to order it at dollartree.com. I don't know if others out there find that sometimes they're having trouble getting things delivered to their stores or there's things not available, but with things getting a little crazy again, and a lot of people talking about you know, shortages and stuff, I decided to start buying some of these items and stocking up in my home. Since I'm not moving right now, that was another thing. I had not really been stocking up because I thought I was going to be moving at this very moment, but my son started high school and I can't move the beginning of the year, perhaps at Christmas. I don't know. We shall see. Or I may have to wait until summer. So we'll see what happens. But I did buy more Gossner milk. And I have to say that Anna from Only In My Dreams always says that this is delicious. And she is absolutely right. This is such yummy, delicious, creamy milk. I'm almost, honestly, I like it better than regular milk at this point. And it says that it's from cows not treated with RBST, which is very important. No significant difference has been shown between milk derived from RBST treated cows and non RBST treated cows, but that's not true. And we kind of all know that. So the fact that the cows have not been treated with RBST makes me happy. And yeah, I'm just really, really happy whenever I'm able to pick this up for just a dollar at the Dollar Tree. They don't always have it in the stores. It's seems to be always sold out. So if you can't get it and you need it and maybe you can't get out often or you live in an area where the store is far away, consider ordering it right to your house or even ordering a case to the store and picking it up for free at the store. You could do that as well. In this bag, I do have one more gold toe pair of socks, you guys. Uh, $12 originally. It's a two pack and it's one of the little black dress socks. And one pair is, they kind of look like nylon pantyhose. See how cute they are? They're almost sheer. And then the other pair is um, just like a solid black striped, I mean, just a solid black sock. And then at the ankle and then the bottom is like polka dot. So really cute socks. You can't go wrong with, you know, black, overall black socks in the winter, you're going to need them. If you're living in any area that it gets cold in. I did pick up two of each of these. Um, I have no idea why I bought four, but I, I just love them. And I feel like what if they never make them again and I accidentally ruin them? I mean, these are so cute. I almost wish that I could buy like hundreds of them. And cause I do buy as it gets closer to Christmas, about 75 trees to give out at the shelter. Um, so, cause there are very little spaces, one shelter, one shelter that I work with. Um, I bring them cause they're allowed to have them. They're allowed to plug in lights, but I don't buy plug in lights. I just get them the tree and then I get big buckets of decorations and they can pick whatever they want out of them. A lot of the decorations that I buy over my whole season, I add to it because I, I actually don't put a ton of decorations in my trees because I don't have a big tree in my house either because I have crazy pets, but, um, I do donate them, but these are just so, so cool that I don't know. I'm definitely going to do a little tree. I can't decide whether I want the red one or 
I'm probably going to do the galvanized metal one for Christmas. And then I was thinking that maybe I will just use the other side of the red one for Valentine's Day and just peel off the sticker. Super easy peasy. Maybe put like a heart thing there. I don't know. But isn't that like, I don't even need the sticker, but isn't it like it's a possible, you could put a pink heart here. Yeah, you could do lots of cute things with it for Valentine's and for Christmas because I kind of love that galvanized country look for Christmas. Um, but like I said, I bought four altogether. I don't know why. I just couldn't not have a backup of each of them because I think they're that cool. I have no idea what possessed me to buy these, but it's a really little package. But look, they're oatmeal raisin, three ounce of individually wrapped cookies, Mrs. Fields. What does that mean, individually wrapped cookies? Each cookie is individually wrapped in here? What's in here? I Oh, I think that's why I, I had to show you guys what's in here. Oh my gosh. What? What? And what? Look at how cute, you guys. You get three individually wrapped cookies by Mrs. Fields. Okay, duh. Obviously, it says three individually wrapped cookies. Why didn't I get that? I guess I couldn't believe that there were, oh, because maybe because there's five cookies on the box, I just assumed there were smaller cookies, or I don't know how many, it's one cookie that's in here. Yeah, it was confusing me because there's five on the package, and I was confused as to how they were wrapped, so I had to further investigate because I'm very, I have to know these things. It's 120 calories per cookie. They're oatmeal raisin cookies, not that that makes them healthy, but that's a cute little thing to have like in your bag in case you get hungry on a drive. I just love it when things are individually wrapped like that. I didn't even get it really. It wasn't registering. That is so cute. Like I said earlier, I buy several ornaments to throw in a big bin and donate and people can put whatever they want in their little trees. And this Peppa Pig ornament, I did get a few. I'm just showing you a couple. And the LOL surprise ornaments are just super, they're not glass, thank goodness. They're just styrofoam with some plastic coating. But these ornaments are just adorable. Little girls are going to absolutely love those. And Peppa Pig as well. I did get the Paw Patrol and the SpongeBob SquarePants. Also, I just don't know where in the world they are. But aren't those so fun for kids? And it says, snow much fun. So there's the answer, snow much fun. But kids are gonna love those. I have quite a few of each of them. You guys know that I'm crazy about sparkle polish. I cannot help it. I am just obsessed. And look at that one. I love it. It is silver and magenta, hot pink, like just like this pink, sparkles. And it is called Hot Pink, number 583 by Milani. I cannot pass up sparkle polish. It's like literally an, um, like a disorder. I see sparkle polish and I'm like, do I have that color sparkle yet? And if the answer is no, it must go in the cart. It just has to because you don't know when you're going to need it. And then I pick these up and this packaging kind of looks like it's been through the mill, but these are perfect for the holidays. So I don't know if this is like, I know they had these before and I used to have them, but unfortunately somehow as you put them in and out of your hair, this kind of disconnects and I tried gluing them on, but I was so happy to find these. I hope they're bringing them back. I have seen them in a couple of stores, but this package looks like heck, but it's okay with me because I love the actual clip. Isn't this clip so, so cute? It's actually really cute to um, put them all in your hair, like all at once. If you have like a bunch of jewel tones, which is what I do with them. I just think they're really pretty and they're very holiday festive, I feel like. And I just like to kind of like step them one a little bit. See what I mean? Like, I just think they look really cute when you have them all in at the same time. Kind of like that. I feel like it's super cute. I don't know. They're so pretty. They make me feel like a princess or something because of the big tacky jewels. Beautiful. 
Very cool clips for a dollar. I did pick up this dial, brand name dial, limited edition cedar and balsam liquid hand soap. It is 7.5 ounces. I showed you guys this probably a month ago in the walkthrough, but I've picked up like every time I see it, I pick up another one because truth be told, this is such a nice scent. I don't know if you have had a chance to smell this scent. Let me know what you guys think of it because I feel like this scent could be year round. Oh, it definitely smells Christmassy, but then if you don't know that it's a Christmas scent, it almost smells lemony too. It's that cedar. It is such a nice fragrance that I just love it as hand soap. I don't want to only have it. I mean, I'm torn because I love the Jergens hand soap. That's my favorite. It smells like cherries, but this one is definitely starting to hone in on there and I can't get enough of it. I just, yep, I can't get enough of it. I love that cedar and balsam mix. It reminds me of like Wella Balsam Shampoo. That's what it is. It reminds me of Wella Balsam Shampoo and I love that smell. This is an awesome, awesome fragrance. It's not like fruity or like florally. It's got this awesome, like strong, like, oh, like amazing high end scent to it. It's a very high end complex scent and I really, really like it. And I have to say that I just probably have way too many of these at this point. I'm probably going to have to give some away. Let's put it that way because I don't even know how many of them I've bought. Every time I see them, I pick up one or two, one or two, one or two, and I go to a lot of Dollar Trees and they seem to be all over the place. So I have one or two too many at this point. <laughs> I did get the Chillin' with my Nomi's towel. It's blue and white and I know that people have, when I showed it in a walkthrough, people said that Olivia made a really cute pillowcase with it on Olivia's romantic home. And she did, you guys. She just glued this thing in half, ironed it out, glued it in half, and put some pom-poms in the four corners and made the cutest pillow out of this. So if you guys don't know who Olivia is from Olivia's romantic home is, and you do DIYs, then you need to check Olivia out because she is like instant therapy. There's something about Olivia from Olivia's Romantic Home that the sound of her voice makes me feel like I had like the best retreat or like therapy session or I don't know. She's incredible. I really love Olivia. So if you don't know who Olivia is, you should definitely check out her channel. She does incredible DIYs, but she has a beautiful personality. She has like a calming soul. I just love that woman. She makes me happy. My TV, I don't know if this happens to other people. In the middle of the night, after I fall asleep watching YouTube videos, my TV just puts Olivia on. So I sleep listening to Olivia crafting. And that's probably why I get all these, uh, probably Olivia has these ideas. It's not even me. It's subliminal. But um, like I'll wake up and I'll be like, I feel like crafting. And then I'm like, Marina, you're not crafty. You guys, sh you don't even want to know. I tried to make that tear tray out of the Hot Wheels um, track and those two lids. That was an epic, epic fail. Oh my goodness, that was not a good um, DIY for me. It did not work out. I did pick up this ornament filler, 80 pieces, because I swear that I'm gonna make a bracelet or earrings out of it. We shall see about that, guys, because I swear I'm gonna make DIYs all the time and then I just don't make them because they just are a lot harder than they seem to be. Um, but these, I always pick up, these magnetic clips, because I love, love the fact that they're magnetic and you can clip anything to them. Paper, potholders, uh, another clip that you can hook utensils onto. Um, yeah, I buy those little metal, metal wire ones also and I clip those onto them sometimes and I... I just use these for everything. I just love them. Anything that has metal, I put these on and I can hang just about anything. They're so, so useful. Even my door, if I have to remember. See, I, I bought a ton of them. Whenever I see them, I stock up on them because they do kind of fall apart. And you can always, they're metal, so the magnet sticks back to them. But sometimes they fall apart after a while. And then this one piece, the heavy duty one, 
is really great, honestly, for hanging a wreath on your door. This, if you have a metal door, this is a really heavy, 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 heavy duty. Uh, if you're going to put like a ribbon or something to hang your wreath from, just clip it right into here. And it's beautiful, actually. It looks very nice. And that's what I'm going to do with it. I absolutely love these for that. In my house, everybody's been sick. Christopher currently has strep throat. I'm just getting over strep throat. I know. Really seriously. I know. Don't. I don't even know how, how it's happened. It's possible that John might have caught it when he was in the hospital. Um, there are mask mandates. How in the world we're getting strep when everyone's wearing masks? I don't know. It drives me crazy because it's very disturbing to me that we could get strep even though we're wearing masks. But Chris goes to school. My son doesn't even take his mask off when he's eating his lunch. He puts it underneath the mask and eats it. So I don't know how he got strep, but he gave it to all of us. And so I did get several of these because we needed it. We were so, so sick. And you guys, this stuff is such a money saving product. Honestly, to be able to buy bootleg Pepto at a buck, Pepto is like six bucks in the store. I'm not spending $6. This works exactly like Pepto-Bismol does, and it's only $1. Do not hesitate to try these when you, I don't know, I, I know a lot, it's four, out, four fluid ounces for a buck. I know a lot of people are hesitant to buying medical stuff at the Dollar Tree, but not all of it is bad. Some things I don't buy. I don't buy vitamins that are Greenbrier brands. It's not going to happen ever. But um, like the Restores brand, that's a brand name. I do buy that. Uh, the Melatonin, I buy that. My son uses it. It's great. Um, sometimes they have brand name items. Of course, I pick those up. But for the most part, there are a lot of um, generic items that are made by pharmaceutical companies that are just a generic version that are sold in other pharmacies that are great. They're just as good as the brand name ones and they're just a dollar at the Dollar Tree and I always, always pick that up. I hold these forever ago, forever ago, but it's okay because my plan is to just put them on my stoop on Halloween. So I'm just going to put them on there on the day of Halloween for the trick-or-treaters, like at the I have one little step and I'm going to leave my bowl of candy out there and I'm going to put beware and creepy out there with the bowl of candy because I think that's a cute thing to do. Um, I found out for my son that I have to drive him to some Halloween thing that he wants to go to. So I won't be there to give out candy. So that's what I'm going to be doing. These will probably get stolen. Trick or treating is allowed this year and I'm happy if they take it. It doesn't bother me. So I'm putting it on the stoop. I did pick these up, um, these metal plaques of corrugated metal. I am obsessed with birds. You guys know that. And I'm thinking of doing some type of a DIY. And I thought that this might be a roof, maybe, and then make a birdhouse. I don't know. I, I always end up doing some kind of a Christmas bird-themed DIY. So I picked these up for that. And they do have a little hanging like it's welded onto them. So if I wanted to attach them, maybe I could, I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm just in the gestation period, but I'm thinking tin roof, like in the B-52 song. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I did pick up the super cute gnome LED lights. Of course, I picked up one set for me and one set for the giveaway. Oh, I did pick up the blue towel actually for the giveaway as well, the gnome giveaway. Let me know if you guys would prefer I do all red gnome stuff and then one small blue and white gnome giveaway because there are some blue and white gnome items and then there are mostly red gnome items. So let me know what you guys think. Should I do one little blue and white gnome giveaway and one red giveaway? which is everything else, or how should we go about that? What do you guys think? I did pick up several of these. I use these for a lot of things, lots of crazy things like pot holders. Um, actually, I used to hang a crochet tablecloth up as a curtain in my home, 
and I had used these to put them on the rod because the crochet tablecloth was all obviously full of holes because it was crochet, open knit crochet. And instead of buying even the clip things, which at the time, they, the ones I had didn't match anything, I used these, I passed them through all the holes and I put up as curtain rings and they worked amazing. So these are great. They're just so useful for so many things that when you see eight for a buck, pick them up. You're just not gonna believe the things you come up with doing with them. They're very, very useful. It actually occurred to me that some people may not know what they are. These are book rings. They're um, just metal, they open so that you can um, put paper in them and maybe hold like flashcards. The trucker's wife, Love's Life Andrea, said that she put punched holes in a bunch of index cards and she used them to study with for flashcards for school. So many really cool things you can do with these. You can probably, um, I don't know, there's a million ideas that float around in my head. They're not even coming out of my mouth at the moment, but they are basically like binder clips without the binder in case you guys, because once I open them, they're all gonna spill all over the carpet in here and I'm never gonna find them because there's just hole everywhere. I don't wanna open them for that reason, but I hope you guys know what they are and they are really useful. And when I was really young and I used to work in this office that used to get the really big ones, I used to wear them as bracelets too. So there is that. If you find the really big ones, they make really great bracelets and they make the most pleasant noise. Like they make the deepest clanging noise on your wrist. And I did pick up a couple more of these. These are a rebuy for me. I absolutely love these. They are with Bamboo and Charcoal by Bathory, which is a, a Target brand, uh, Live, Laugh, Lather, Let Spa, and it says to purify charcoal infused bath cloth, and they come in this really pretty purple and gray or this white and gray. They're basically like an exfoliating washcloth, but they are pretty big and really very nice. Like I feel like this is definitely worth a buck. I really like them. They suds up really well. And um, I actually have been throwing them in the washing machine. I don't know what you guys are doing with them, but I throw them in the washing machine and I don't put them in the dryer and I'm really happy with them. They're really nice. I really like them. So I picked up more because once you put them in the washing machine, my gosh, what's wrong with my mouth today? Once you put them in the washing machine, I'm pretty sure they're not infused with anything anymore, but they are really, really good for scrubbing up. I just like how they lather every, they're, they aerate the soap nicely. I love them. Pretty much, this is a rousing review for me. I truly like these a lot. I'm pretty sure you guys saw that they have the pink one of this gorgeous headband, also at the Dollar Tree. I wore it in one of my past hauls and um, I loved it. It made me feel like a Victorian woman and this one is no exception. I, I really love this headband. I think it's super duper pretty, really high end looking. It does not look like you paid a buck for it. And the other one is like rosy, burnt rose kind of pink. And this is black with pearl. They're beautiful, great stocking stuffers. Don't pass these up because people will look, I mean, honestly, you just can't look at that and not be like, wow, that was a dollar? Get out of here. That does not look like a dollar. You do have to be really careful though because some of them are a little chintzy. So you've got to look them over really carefully and make sure you get, get a good one. But once you do, you won't be disappointed. I did pick up, it's so funny, after all of the awesome brand name Sphinx razors that I have found in various colors, um, that I am picking up these Assured for Men razors, but my son is obsessed with all things shaving related, so I did pick up a couple of these for him, and uh, they'll probably be used up really quick because he is like, a shaving machine, these pre-teen, well, no, not pre-teen, teenage, he's in high school, and this is, like, all new to him, so it's a whole event, and yeah, I picked these up for him. <laughs> I saw this at the Dollar Tree, and the brand is called Scrub Free Multi-Surface Cleaner Streak-Free and Anti-Static Glass Metal Wood Electronics Marble and Plastic. 
lavender scented. Um, I like that you can clean wood with it, which is why I bought it because I have a wood table and, um, I don't, it says anti-static. I don't really worry about that. That's not, I hope it just cleans. So I'm going to give that a try. It's 9.7 ounces. At first I thought that it foamed up, but it doesn't. So let's see. It does actually foam up. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try it. I've never tried anything like that on wood. Has anybody tried this cleaner? Is it any good? Am I going to regret it? Because it's very strange, actually. Glass, metal, wood, electronics, marble, and plastic. I'm going to give it a shot. I got some of this tie-dye for a trash to treasure video that I would like to do. So yeah, I'm hoping that it comes out good. And if it does, it'll be a trash to treasure video. And if it doesn't, this'll just end up in the trash along with my potential treasure. So we shall see guys. I will keep you posted on that one. A friend of mine just recently had a baby and I saw this in the walkthrough and I had to pick it up. Isn't that so pretty for a baby's room? Dream big little one with this pretty, pretty yellow tassel. So beautiful. Just to even add to um, a baby shower basket. Those are just really, really pretty with a little cloud. And then this one says, be your own kind of beautiful. This is going in my bathroom. I can't help it. I want to be my own kind of beautiful. And it's going in my cloudy powder room. If I had a big space, I would put this in my vanity, but I don't. So it's going in my bathroom and everyone's going to have to deal with it. It's I also think that these would be great added on to the end of those wood garlands that the Dollar Tree was selling before that we were all, well, I know a lot of people had trouble finding them, but I did get those. So to attach that to the end of the wood garland, you could make like a pretty garland. You could actually paint this into white or anything and put any words you want in here or decoupage a picture of something in here. You could do a lot of things with these. They're very, very versatile. Really, the the fixings are here. So I think they're great for a dollar. Very pretty decor that could be turned into something more. I did pick up this cool book. It is called Miracle Dogs. And it says, Miracle Dogs demonstrates a truth that lies at the heart of all rescue stories. That sharing a home with an animal, especially one that's been forgotten, and left to the fates can enrich even the most glamorous and well-lived lives. Um, so that is really interesting. The book was originally $21.99 and it says man's best friends, big, little, fluffy, speedy, cuddly, playful, silly, and everything in between. Liz Salvadrines loves them all and the people who call them family. Her beautiful photos and captivating prose will play tug of war with your heartstrings, doggy drool not included. And there are lots of pictures of people and their life-saving pooches. So I just feel like I may be either gifting this book or adding it to the puppy giveaway that I am comprising. Um, any dog lover would love to have this book, I think. Looks like a really good book. I did pick up this whole collection of really cool canvas looking magnets. I just love them. I'm probably going to be gifting them at, during the holidays to various family members. I really love them. This one says, have courage and be kind. That is perfect. It is courageous to be kind. People enjoy cattiness more than lovingness sometimes, and it's just not nice. Plain and simple. Why? Why? It is it does actually, I was just having a conversation with someone today where I was saying that um, when you do good things, good things will ultimately come back to you. And I firmly believe that. They don't have to come from the people that you do them for, but the universe always takes care of those who take care of others. So I am a firm believer in that the universe takes care of those who always take care of others 
and do nice things for other people. Um, I just feel like that is so much easier than going out of your way to be like cruel and mean. So yeah, I believe the universe always rewards us for that. Um, then this one I love, I love, I'm going to have to keep this one for myself. You guys realize that this is so me and it should really be like, um, before my spouse goes to the car and sees the condition of it. Cause this one says, dear Lord, please don't let my spouse be home when all of my online orders arrive. Amen. And I think it's hilarious, but it should really be like, dear Lord, please don't let my husband go to the car for anything because he's going to have an aneurysm <laughs> because the car is just packed with Dollar Tree stuff packed. And like, I, I like get the boys together and ask them to help me get all the stuff out of the car once a week and stuff. And then it gets right back filled up. I pack up the camper with all the things for the shelter. It's just never ending you guys. But it's good stuff and I need it for my different various events. So I have to pick it up. And at a dollar, it's a lot cheaper than it is anywhere else. And then the third one says, everyone is doing the best they can, which is terrifying. God, that is so true sometimes. Some of the things that I see going on in the world, and if that's their best, God help them for real. <laughs> that's all I know because there are some terrible things I see being done to people in this world. Just terrible. Running late is my cardio. Love that. Um, I'm late to everything and everyone who knows me probably wants to stick this right on my forehead or wants, yeah, this should be like my name tag. <laughs> like, hi, my name is running late is my cardio because all of my friends always tell me the wrong time for something so that I'll get there earlier. They know that I'm always late. But I've gotten better, actually. Since the pandemic, I'm so excited about doing things and seeing people that I've actually gotten better with being late. I did show a bunch of DVDs a while ago, but I think these couple might be some of the strays. Um, this one is Amazing Secrets of Our World, and this is Three Planet Earth Programs You've Never Seen, Natural Wonders, Secrets and Treasures, and mastering the underground world. Yeah, I had shown you guys a different um, amazing secrets one, which had like Atlantis and stuff like that. But this one um, is about like the Egyptian tombs and all other, kind. I don't know, my son loves these kind of informative DVDs and I really love watching them with him. I actually love these kind of DVDs a lot too. I, I love documentaries or information fed to me in a DVD. I love it. And then I saw this, We Speak Comedy. It's best Latin comedy series, but it's not in Spanish, so I can understand it, and I'm going to love it. I love comedy DVDs, and at a dollar, comedy never goes out of style. Even if it's old jokes, I'm mold, so I'm going to get it. It's good for a buck. I picked up this. It's like um, a wired chiffon ribbon that has LED light in it. Um, it just seems kind of interesting and maybe I'll make a bow out of it. I'm not sure. Uh, it says that it's 10 pieces, but how long is it? Three feet. Is three feet enough to make a bow? I don't know. It would be cool if you can make a light up ribbon. Let's see. Cause that's what I was thinking in the store. I would like to do with that. Wouldn't that be kind of cool to have a ribbon that lights up? It would be if it works. So, I mean, not a ribbon, a bow. Duh, Marina, duh. People are like, uh, it's already a ribbon, Ma Marina. What are you talking about? Does anybody even, <laughs> people are like, we're not even listening to you anymore. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> They're like, ah, you never say the right words. We, we're used to it. Because I can't, I can't help it. I, know, I, I watch my videos later, and I'm like, how do people deal with me? I always say the wrong words. It's so crazy. Ah, oh, uh, this is no Olivia bow. <laughs> But maybe I can zhuzh it. Or you can add another bow that doesn't light up to it and bulk it up a little how Olivia would and then stick this one on top of it. But this one will be the one that lights up. Uh, is that going to look cute though? Because, uh, you know, this is the thing. It's going to be coming out of here. Oh, but you could put it in your tree. How cute would that? Well... 
I don't know. What are you guys doing with these? Or you can actually put this in your tree without making a bow out of it. And it would be pretty darn cute, actually. And I think that that's probably what everybody's doing with it. But I just had high hopes for it. It's a little chintzy, but it is like, it's it's not poorly made. It's, it's holding on. Um, the idea is there. I mean, it's just a buck. What do you expect? It's going to be cool to have a ribbon that lights up. So I'm sure there'll be lots and lots of uses for these. What are you guys doing with them? I absolutely love the candy cane looking LED light. And I'm going to be putting that either in a mug or in something in my coffee bar at Christmas time. This screams candy cane lean coffee bar decor to me in my head. So in reality, that's where it's going to go. And then I also bought this and honestly, this was on my wish list forever. I mean, I did find it a while ago and have not yet hold it. I think this is the bag that got away actually, but, um, isn't that so pretty? I'm not sure if I'm going to use this now or probably on Valentine's, but I really wanted this. It's light up garland that looks just like foliage. It's so so cute for a dollar. So many uses for these. People use these for weddings, parties, all kinds of awesome, awesome things I've seen online with these, but I just really wanted it. I wanted it last year for Valentine's and I don't know what I'm going to do with it this year, but it's not going to be for Christmas. I can tell you that much. I have bought this one in the past, the Skin Nutrients Double Strength Retinol Night Repair Serum, Flawless Younger Perfect. This is a great product. I love it. I use it almost every day. And then I finally found the Vitamin C 1% that I had seen people hauling a while ago and I had been on the hunt forever for. And between the two of these, I feel like this is day and night serums. This is brightening and this is for nighttime. There actually is another one. Um, I forget which one that is, but they haven't had it replenished lately, but if they do, I will definitely be picking that up as well. And then I found this little makeup case and I just decided I'm going to make like a gift in there. Um, it's by hard candy 064 soft touch, really pretty little pink makeup bag. And I think that, and I have a person in mind for it. So I'm going to just put some tissue paper in there and put these in there. And if I find the third one, I'm gonna put the third one in there. Um, because I just think it's like a cute little way to gift them. They're great products, do not pass them up. And the little makeup bag is just adorable as well. And of course, I'm gonna put some other goodies in there. It doesn't fit much, but it actually fits those two. It would probably fit, let's see how many items fit in here. It's not a huge makeup bag, but it's deceiving actually. So I did pick up more than one of these. There's another vitamin C. It fits in there perfectly. Another vitamin C. I did, uh, yeah, I bought three of the vitamin C. So there are now four bottles in here and they fit perfectly and there's actually room for one more. So it's not a terrible size little makeup bag for just a dollar by Hard Candy. Really nice faux pink leather. Very cute little pickup. Was very happy to find that. Oh boy, you guys, I forgot. That's what I was going to be adding into this. The Jade Facial Roller. Isn't that like a cute little gift? The two serums. Of course, I packed it full of serums, but I planned on putting the two serums in there, some tissue paper, and this My Beauty Spot Jade Facial Roller relieve and soothe. These are great when you put them in the freezer or the refrigerator and you put them under your eyes. They really, really do help your skin. They do a great job. They're a wonderful product. The packaging is awesome. It matches the makeup bag. And yeah, I have a plan to gift that to one of my girlfriends as a little Christmas stocking stuffer for like four bucks. The two serums, the facial jade roller and the makeup bag, four bucks, some tissue paper out the door. Great little gift. I'm showing them as I'm seeing them, you guys. I'm sorry, they're really disorganized. But I did pick up that ribbon um, light in red as well and dropped it. <laughs> and that's what it looks like when it's lit up. These boxes are all wonky. I actually bought them like that, but I bought them anyway. 
because I feel like they're going to have a really good use once I really put my mind to it. And at a dollar, they're really interesting. I like lights that are battery operated on timers, but these are so unique that I had to give them a try. Look at this gorgeous gold garland on, look at how beautiful that is. I don't know, I don't know, but I, I could see getting like a beautiful, just simple pillar candle on a tall candle holder, wrapping this around the bottom of the candle itself, lighting it up, and you know somehow hiding this somewhere and just having the base of the candle lit up because it would be so cute wrapped around a candle and lit up i just love i just love things that light up every i love things that color change and things that light up but my favorite lights that they made this year are those fiber optic color changing ones i literally love those i love them i think they're fabulous I picked up this movie, it's called 94 Feet, and it's one of those Christian movies. St. Michael's is a small town full of good, hardworking people, like many blue collar folks. They've had to tighten their belts over the years. As many businesses went bankrupt and laid off employees, the town has survived, but a darkness has settled over many as hope has slowly vanished from the streets. When an industry that has sustained the town for over 100 years announces it is closing its doors, it hits home hard. A family that has been the cornerstone of the community has given up. The only thing that can save the dying little town is an unspeakable tragedy. And um, I have a feeling that this is going to be one of those really spiritual feel-good movies that sometimes I'm just in the mood for. I really like to watch christian movies like this sometimes where just something miraculous happens and it makes you cry and you just feel great about having watched it there's nothing else i could say about it sometimes i just really enjoy movies like that i also picked up this delicate little headband with the pearls it is really really pretty i love headbands in case you guys haven't figured that out yet i don't like every kind of hair accessory but I seriously love headbands. Oh, I can't even figure out how to get it out of here. What is happening here? There's like a rubber band. And I'm sure that everybody that bought this broke it trying to get it open. Unless they have a scissor. Because this is craziness. Um, it's strung through the pearls. I don't know. I'm just going to break it. Okay, good. Broken. Done. So, and see how the, I like that it's covered. That's really nice. Otherwise it hurts like heck. That is just a very, very pretty, simple headband. I think it's really beautiful though. And I really like it. It's like lacy. I think it's so gorgeous. Cannot believe that that's just a dollar. Wow. The next couple of items that I want to share with you guys are Flower Beauty complete brow kit. This is called Take a Brow and it is literally unbelievable. It is an amazing flower beauty product. It comes with the brow tinting wax, the brow powder, and it comes in three shades of brow powder. So it looks like that would work for brown hair to blonde hair. My guess is I'm not really great using these kind of items, so I'm going to assume, see that is the, this is the brow wax, the light one, and then these three are the brow um, tints, the powder, so I think that would probably work really well for a blonde to light brown haired person. What do you guys think? Um, I'm not going to open it and waste it since this is not a color that would suit me and there are not tons of these and I do plan on doing de-stashing boxes. So, you know, not a ton of them. We don't have a lot of flower beauty, but we have found a lot of variety of flower beauty, which is why Pamela and I decided to do de-stashing boxes for some of the subscribers that just can't find them. Um, then this product is really cool. It says, flower, love the way you feel, win some, rouge some. And the name of this color is 
What is your name? Color. I just can't. Could it be Winsome Rougesome? No. It doesn't say. Maybe it's under here. Oh, Pale Petunia. It's actually the other one I read. I could see it. It's like underneath this sticker. This is so hermetically sealed, you guys, that I can't even figure out a way in. This is unbelievable. Okay, I think I think we found our way in. We're going to infiltrate this palette if it kills us today. I'm really curious to try it out. It is obviously rouge, and it's a really nice pink, actually. It's like a bright, bright pink. Now you can really, really see it. It's a very gorgeous. I do have some eye I have so many items. I don't even know if I've ever shared the makeup bags. I get confused between my holes and my walkthroughs sometimes, whether I've shared things or not. Um, yeah. So what is this? Cre Ooh, it's cream. This is a cream blush. Wow. Let's, that's nice, actually. Um, it's a very pretty, that is a really pretty blush. Do you guys see that? It's actually gorgeous, but I would never use this. Never. The little thing it comes with, right in the garbage, that's going to go. But that is very, very, very pretty. And in a pinch, you could use it as lip gloss as well. I'm just saying, in a pinch, I would do whatever I needed to do to get makeup on my face. Um, and then there's this gorgeous, gorgeous flower lip gloss. This is um, Galaxy Glaze Holographic Lip Gloss. It's beautiful. And the name of it is number 30 Halo. It's so hard to see the names on her products. But I do think that if you're lucky enough to find these two... This is a cute little gift right here. And maybe like a pair of shades from that, you know, those purple ones that I'm, oh yeah. Imagine giving a purple lover this as a gift right here in a little gift bag or something. Um, I haven't had a chance to wear these yet, but I love them. Look at how cute that would be as a gift. Big time cute gift, wouldn't it? This was in my haul the other day. I love those purple glasses. But so let's swatch this gorgeous purple lip gloss. Ooh, it's, wow, this is a, this would be really cute topper to just, just about anything. It is definitely holographic. Wow, it's phenomenal. Do you guys see the shimmer that that has? That would be a great topper to like a burgundy lipstick. Really nice. And then this um, Purple Fanatic Pop. There's also like a hot pink one. So far, these Fanatic Pops, um, there has been a pink one, a purple one, and a green one. I think I've only showed you guys the green one. This is the purple one. I'm getting it open. So I just want to share with you guys these little stickers that some of the makeup has. Um, some of the Flower Beauty has it and some of it doesn't. So I just wanted to show you guys that because I have something else that I want to hold today that I think is very exciting that the Dollar Tree is getting. I'm um, so psyched to find those, um, my next item, and probably my last item in this haul. Now, this uh, Flower Fanatic Eye Pigment, oh, I'm not even sure if I showed you guys the awesome packaging because I had such a hard time getting it open, but it's called Fizz, and it's part of the Pop Fanatic line. It's just such gorgeous, like, comic strip, like, crash, bang, boom packaging. I love that about it. I love crash, bang, boom. You guys... I do enough Crash Bang Boom to know that I love it. And then it has this cute little, very fun packaging. Super simple. Almost like Elf does with that clear plastic. And then it is also cream, which is why I was saying that. But highly, highly pigmented. And we're going to um, swatch that as well. Beautiful. So you could actually use the pink cheek stuff as eyeshadow as well. Look at that. Look at this is like so bubblegummy and cute. Um, I love all of these products. They're very nice. Really good quality. Everything Drew Barrymore does is phenomenal. You will not be disappointed with her products. There has not been a single Flower Beauty product that I've picked up that I was disappointed using. The next thing that I want to share with you guys are these mailing seals. 
they are obviously very similar to the little plastic round circle that the makeup usually has for safety precautions. And the Dollar Tree is selling them at 120 pieces for a dollar. They're similar, not identical, but in a way almost better because what they are is they come in sheets. Uh, I mean, they could have come in a roll, but they're, these are sheets. And when you peel them off of the paper, if I can see enough to do so, um, I'm sure that I can get it. Come on, Marina, you could do this. They have like a little perforation. I don't know if you can actually see the little perforation in the center. These are for like books or whatever, like little magazines people might be doing for home offices or whatever, real estate agents selling listings and stuff, seal it up and want people to crack it open when it gets to their house. But ne that's neither here nor there. I'm buying them to seal up the makeup that I am finding by Flower Beauty that does not have a seal because I am very lucky. We're fortunate enough. See, like that works. It's sealed. Um, we are fortunate enough to be able to find these makeup. Like since my son is back in school, as they're unloading them, we're kind of buying like a little box of them or not a whole case. Like a, a case will have like maybe eight boxes and we'll pick up like one little box that has like six or seven or eight pieces in it out of the case, but they're not sealed. They're not sealed. Like this, by the way, beautiful lip gloss that I'm gonna share with you guys lastly, is also by Flower Beauty and is my favorite um, lip gloss, holographic lip gloss that we have found so far, Galaxy Glaze in the color Molten, number 25. This one is beautiful. It is a gorgeous red, very, very pretty, beautiful. It's like molten lava, but I am loving the color scheme here today, really loving it. And what I was saying is as I get a case and I know that they're sealed, I'm going to be sealing them myself so that people know that they haven't been tampered with or anything like that. I mean, I'm not going to do that with this one. This one is mine. I just want to show you guys that that's like a kind of good thing to do. For my purposes, I can't um, bring something like this to the shelter because it's actually not sealed and they won't take items that they think have been tampered with. And, the, and I got the other day this beautiful bunch of hard candy scrubs and skin products and stuff, but they're not sealed. So I'm really excited to be able to seal them and be able to donate them. So yeah, so if you're gifting things to a charity or something like that and you pick these up, you could do that with them so that they know that they're not used. It is like an indicator that they're not used. As long as they're not used. If you're going to open them, don't do that because that's gross. But I just really want to go over again how completely gorgeous that flower makeup is. It's really... I'm actually going to try that on. Again, it's not sealed. I took the thing off. It was just for show purposes because it's mine. That one is mine. But I'm going to try this on. I don't normally like gloss, but I love how holographic this is. Well, wow, those are, when I wear lip gloss, my lips are like humongous. Um, that is definitely shiny, shiny. I almost like it. I don't know how I feel about it. I never wear gloss, never. I wear matte lipstick always because I do have really, really large lips and I feel like it makes them look too big when I wear gloss. But I do love the sparkle and glitz in that lipstick. So I had to try it. That's it, guys. That's everything I have time to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty long haul. And uh, we'll come back to see the rest of the awesome stuff that I have in store for you guys. Because there's a whole entire trunk full of makeup. So I have lots of, plus holiday, plus just so much stuff to share with you guys. Um, I'm so grateful my channel has reached 5,000 subscribers because of amazing ladies and gentlemen like you who tune in to watch my videos of just me, things that I'm buying at the Dollar Tree. 
maybe someday this channel will actually be able to raise money towards my organization. That was my goal when I first started my channel. And then once I realized how hard it was to like start a YouTube channel, I was like, I'm never going to get there. And I did. And I, I'm really just amazed at the love and support that I've received from all of you awesome people. So I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart and fix this necklace that keeps going off to the left because it's driving me crazy. Um, Again, I'm so grateful to you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Give my video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this haul. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.